Hi everybody, Damien here from Trade the Fifth. Hope you're all well. Uh, I'm just going to give you a, a quick video guide today on installing our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite onto the TradingView platform. Now obviously once you've purchased the product from us, um, what you need to do is email us with your username and then we can then basically give you authorization to use it. Once we've invited you, you'll then go and you'll see over here on the right hand side, you'll see there's a notification section here. So if you just click that, you'll see here that what we've done is that we would have granted you access to that script. So what you need to do in order to add these indicators is you just click on each one, like so, scroll down here, and then you want to add them to favorite scripts. And you're just going to do that to the other two again. So the stochastic and then the oscillator down here. Now we do have a fourth one here, which is the bar number that helps you isolate the wave count. So just add those in. Now what you need to do is if you go up to here to your chart and you go into it. Once it loads, all you need to do up here is come to indicators. So you click here and as you can see, all four of those indicators there are now in your favorites. You only need to click three of them. So you don't need the isolation right now. But if you just click the indicator suite, if you click it, just left click once on each of those and then you close that down. Now you can see you've got your stochastic here, your oscillator here, and now you've got your 6-4 moving average here on the chart with the Elliott Wave indicator. Okay, so one last thing I want to show you is how to isolate the wave count, okay? So by default, uh, the Elliott Wave indicator will start doing its count from the very first candle within your time frame. However, should you see a recent high or a recent low that you feel signifies the origin of a trend, then you can basically set it to, uh, to isolate from that specific candle and count from that specific moment. Okay, so the way we do this is we need to bring in that fourth script that we had, okay? So we're gonna go back up here to indicators and we're gonna bring in the W5T bar number for Elliott Wave Isolation. So left click on it brings it in. Now for ease of use, we're just gonna move this up to underneath the chart. So there's a little arrow here, we're gonna move it up and then we're gonna do that again. And what we need to do then is, this box is too big, it doesn't need to be this big, uh, all we need to see are the numbers. So we're just gonna reduce this down to that. Now the most important thing we wanna pay attention to is this number here, okay? So you run your mouse over the chart, you can see the number changes. That's basically signifying the candle number. So there's a recent high here, so I'm gonna start my count from this moment. And as you can see, the number is 21515. So what we do up here, there is a collapsible menu. Now it should automatically be collapsed, but just in case you can obviously put it, take it away and, and bring it back again. Now you're gonna move your mouse across and there's gonna be a settings button just here. Now you click that, and what we want is the start on bar number. Quick side note, this is where you can basically change things and uh, amend the star. So if you don't like the colors that are in there, if you don't like the thickness, if it's not clear enough to see, you can make all the necessary amend amendments here to the style. Or if you wanna take away some of the lines, you can do that as well. But we're gonna go back here, inputs, and start on bar number. We're gonna put in that number we saw just a minute ago. So that would be 21515 and we're gonna click OK. It's just gonna do its count, it's gonna rejig it, and there you have it. So now it's uh, it started the count from that moment, and now you can see there's been two, three edit wave counts there basically. Uh, the biggest one here obviously, where it obviously went into the fourth wave, uh, hit the pullback zone, and then went back down into the target zone. So hopefully that's of use for you guys. Look, if you do have any other questions or, um, you know, you're having problems installing this and feel free to email me uh, and I'll do my best to help you out. So you can email me at info at tradethefifth.com. Thank you for your time.